Hi, welcome to another video. So this video I'm going to see are 16 gigs of RAM better than 8 gigs of RAM. I'm currently running my PC with 8 gigs. It's, see if we can see here, it's actually the i7 6700K, 7% uh, overclocked and it's currently running at 3.92 gigs. But I'm using Adobe Media Encoder because you can actually set how much RAM the program will use. So this Windows 10 usually uses about four gigs, but using this encoder, it jumps up to usually six gigs, but at the moment it's 5.1, uh, 5.2. So I could, yeah, proper test, a uh, proper real world test, converting an HD video up to 4K. It was actually filmed in 4K. I converted it down to HD, and now I'm going back up to 4K. The first time I did this test here, it took exactly 40 minutes wasn't quite sure the cutoff time because I was busy getting another battery for this camera. Anyway, so it's doing it again. I'm going to time this to see exactly how long does it take to convert a video up to 4K. It doesn't matter about the you know, length of the video, just how long that video on my PC. As I say, 6700K, I was there. 6700K, 4 gigs. It's currently, currently got 8 gigs of RAM. And once this is finished, I'll install the second 8 gigs of RAM, give me 16. I'll see if this media encoder picks it up automatically. If not, I'll tell it it's 16 gigs of RAM and we'll see if it's any faster. Right, so that video I started was 40 minutes ago. It's got 51 seconds roughly left. Memory 5.2 gigs still. Let that finish, so that's the proof. That's how long that uh, video has taken to render up to 4K for the second time see there or hopefully you can see there time 1520 is just gonna 1520 so that's now 40 minutes it says two seconds and you can see it's sort of finishing so all that data is now being written to the disk actually look at that the disk usage 100% and it's a solid state drive so that's a lot of data being written to the disk and that's just dropping well it's finished so disk usage down to 2% so 6700k 4 gigs 7% overclocked with 8 gigs of memory i'm now going to install eight more gigs i've installed that second eight gigs of memory and uh, so task manager so as i said windows is still running at four gigs but now available around about 15.9 so i'm using 26 percent I've opened Media Encoder but not got it doing anything at the moment. Went down to memory and it says look, RAM reserved for other applications, 3 gigs. Uh, RAM reserved for, yeah, RAM available for these Adobe applications. So I'm on Encoder, 12.9 gigs. I'll put the video up there, so it's a, actually a Mackie video I did. It's something like 30 minutes long, so I'm going to upscale it to YouTube 4K. It's, ultra, it's actually Ultra HD and we'll wait for the minute to roll over to 15.48. Right, 48. Right, that's now encoding. Let's see what the memory usage has gone up to. Give it a few seconds to settle down. It hasn't jumped up to 12, even though the data on this Adobe said 12 gigs of RAM was available. But you see it's slightly higher than before. It was hovering at like 5, 5.2. Now it's up to 6.6. .6. Maybe that's because that's all it needs for this video. I don't know. Right, so this has got less than one minute remaining. 16.27. So I think 16.28. Would that give us 40 minutes, I think. So doubling the RAM hasn't really improved things in you know, real world. You know, editing videos. Maybe it works for gaming. I don't know. But bearing in mind... There's no point giving sticking extra RAM if the CPU is already up near 100%. Uh, so you can see 16 gigs of RAM, we're only using 38%. I shut down some of the background services, which would relieve some of the CPU usage. What's the memory? And that just dropped from sort of 6.5 to 6.1. The intermittent disk usage, I've had a look. It is writing part to two parts of the video to the hard drive. Uh, but yeah, it's a very quick hard drive, so it doesn't maybe, if it was a slow hard drive, maybe the RAM usage would go up, don't know. So at the moment it writes the audio and the video, and then at the end with a high disk usage, converts it to an MPEG-4. 
so you can see two seconds but right, finished there oh just as the text comes in 1628 so obviously the elapsed time there is 40 minutes but we'll see when it you know finishes and clears this that's actually stopped counting so that's another minute so that's 41 minutes same as before so even though our memory usage went up slightly I opened some videos in the background just to see what was happening but I did that in, in the original test as well just for a few minutes so well, we're still on 16.29 you see the disk write up at 100% I mean that's one thing for definite getting a solid state drive rapidly improves everything right 16.30 so that's now 42 minutes and we've finished so it's 42 minutes which was roughly the time with 8 gigs of memory so changing spending like 50 pound or more doubling your memory in this application doesn't make any difference at all and as you saw so it's all reliant on the CPU the CPU can only handle so much data so if it's working stuff out I don't know equations algorithms sticks it into the random access memory and then finishes off at the end uses all that memory clears it all and that's it, it's job done but so really I think to utilize 16 gigs of memory surely the CPU would need to be twice as fast I don't know give me your view so real-world test Adobe media encoder doubling the RAM yeah an extra 50 pound or more no difference whatsoever Hopefully this has given you some insight whether to spend more money on more RAM. And as I say, this, the 6700K has got four cores. These extra four cores are because the hyper-threading is enabled. Thank you very much.